In today's video, we're gonna be taking a road trip through the Pacific Northwest to find what people think is a myth, and that is Gravity Falls. This park is jam-packed with some of the craziest rides you have ever experienced. It's an unexpected park with the most unassuming rides that I've ever seen. At first, it looks just like a ordinary town, an extraordinary town, chocked full of characteristic details, an amazing vibe, great ambient music, and what lurks beneath the town is quite a surprise. Many, many dark rides, many, many mysteries, and rides that will blow your mind. Good googly moogly, is this an episode you're not gonna wanna miss out on? So stay tuned, and let's get into it. Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. Today we're gonna be looking at Gravity Falls, created by Trooper Matthew, one of our Discord master builders and golden patrons. Thank you so much for your tremendous support. If you guys want to get your name added to this list at the beginning and end of every video, check out the Patreon program. Links are down in the description below. Thank you to all the patrons who are supporting the show, as well as Trooper Matthew once again. All right. Here the crater says, if you have ever taken a road trip through the Pacific Northwest, you've probably seen a bumper sticker for a place called Gravity Falls. It's not on any maps and most people have never heard of it. Some people think it's, it's a myth, but if you're curious, don't wait, take a trip, find it. It's out there somewhere in the woods waiting. Welcome to the most boring town in America, Johnny and Orcel. My love letter to one of the favorite cartoons includes eight rides themed around the most iconic episodes of Gravity Falls. Enjoy exploring the town and digging up what secrets lay beneath its humble exterior. Park looks good at times and rides have sequencers, but it's best at 3.30. Remember to leave the flashlight off, go down the entrances, not the exits, but most importantly, have fun. <laughs> and we did also download the media trooper so there you go this is going to be fun so let's get right on into it all right ladies and gentlemen here we are this is the exit and this is the entrance we are entering gravity falls and again if you guys saw the last episode you may have uh, noticed my newfound discovery for my reshade settings which helps improve the look and feel planet coaster this is planet coaster this is reshade it might not look that noticeable at this shot but we will take a closer look at some some of the buildings and stuff and you will see the difference my favorite setting on here is the uh, uh, occlusion ambient occlusion and it's kind of strange that planet coaster doesn't really have anything like that built in uh, and i'm actually really impressed that a program can calculate all this stuff because uh, adding ambient occlusion takes a lot of calculations. And in some cases, in some engines, it takes a lot of performance. But here, it doesn't really do a performance hit at all. Look at this building. See how flat it is in Planko with all the kind of the hard hardness of it, the aliasing, the flatness. Then we turn it back on and boom, the shadows pop. See that? The shadows are popping out. And that just takes it to a whole new level. That setting alone is worth having reshade set up and uh boy oh boy i i, I didn't i didn't really um find any reshade settings that were working for me and i actually uninstalled it and then i saw batches screenshots for rapunzel kingdom and i said to myself i gotta get this to work i really gotta get this to work so it looks like we have a little ride or something right away and what's interesting about this park is when i was looking around taking those um cinematic shots that you guys see in the beginning of every video I was like, where are all the rides? And then I went to the ride list and there's a lot of rides. They're just um, either underground or kind of hidden. Yeah, this is looking cool. He said something about a Toon Land. This, this said that Gravity Falls is supposed to be a Toon from, from a, his favorite cartoon genre or something. Well, check this out. If anyone has a Toon Land, I should have asked Trooper Matthew this, but uh, it adds a painterly filter to the background. And then it also adds like um, a bold kind of outline to make it kind of cell shaded. And I can enhance that more and make that line a little bit more thicker. Um, but it does give a, a really cool look to things. And I would love to visit a whole park like this because uh, it really does feel like we're in a bit of a tune land. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I did not ask permission or anything. So we're just going to uh, look at it in a slightly enhanced Planet Coaster vibe with... Um, this reshade setting that I have. But look at this used car sign. You can almost barely make it out in Planet Coaster default. But we hit this button 
and uh, it pops. Oh boy, does it ever. So it looks like we have a little car ride. The Gleeful, Gleeful's Auto G. There it is. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to select this. Okay, here we go. I had it and I lost it and I ruined it all. Um, I'll turn off this setting so we can see what the stats are all about. There's the look at the results. It's about 120 seconds in duration, 1,600 meters in length. And we're going to drive around Gravity Falls. I'm actually looking forward to this because we get to... Uh, experience the reshade settings so we're gonna try to pop into the right car here see this is the wrong car hopefully there's oh nailed it i think we'll do a uh, seat view here sitting in the driver's seat i like it off we go <laughs> i i thought i had it on fast forward for a second i'm like this is going really quickly and i sped it up and it was only going faster sorry about that guys yeah, this is a uh, this is just ripping along. My goodness, I did not expect this at all. <laughs> we are doing some off roading. Oh my god! I forgot to turn the reshade setting back on, so I just flicked it on there. Should look a little better now. Holy crap! That thing just hauls along with the average speeds of 30 miles an hour, max speeds of 31. So we're consistently going at basically 30 miles an hour, but that felt um, really interesting. It literally felt like we were on a roller coaster. That is a, a first for me. That is a first time experience uh, on that kind of a car ride, off-roading. And that's what I was saying is I, I was like, where are all the rides in the city? They're, they're immersed into the city. They're all part of the city. And uh, I thought this is going to be a really fun episode. Uh, you can't visually see any coasters standing out when you first load up the park. I want to see what's down here. But they, um, they kind of sort of slowly appear. What do we got over here? A zombie shootout. There it is. Oh, look how beautiful this is. I kind of want to do the, uh, the toggle. Ooh. Is it me, or does this really make a difference? Now, maybe some of my settings can be tuned a little bit, like maybe some of my, um, depth of fields and stuff like that. But, uh, so far, I've been fiddling around with a few. I added in a few since the last episode. I added a little bit of a warm lighting look, and it just warms it up a little bit. I thought it would be nice on this park in particular. Ooh, the mystery shack. Yeah, but uh, reshade, getting it working like this, it's a bit of a new toy for me. So you might notice in the last episode and this one, and maybe a couple to come, where I do this little toggle trick and, you know, look at the difference. Because I'm still trying to justify myself like, this is better, right? This is better. And I want to know your guys' comments down below if it is better, if you enjoy it more. And um, we're going to probably have to put something in the submission form where you can submit your own reshade presets. As well as if you want me to use my own preset. 
and that sort of thing. Um, this totem looks amazing, by the way. So does this whole little shack, the mystery shack. It looks really, really good. I mean, I'm going to take a screenshot of that. That's phenomenal. Mm -mm -mm. Mr. Mystery. You know what I should do, you guys? What do you think of this idea? Throw a comment down below. What? Ooh. Candy Core Clops. Like a screenshot of the week or like a screenshot of the month. I, I'll because once in a while in these videos I should take a screenshot of that but what do I end up doing with them maybe once in a while I take like a thumbnail but um, I should put all my screenshots into a room where people can upvote their favorite one and maybe we give a, like a little prize out to the monthly monthly screenshot winners of those who which I've spotlit this is really nice Again, I want to do the test. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Look how... So that's the one thing with Planet Coaster. The lighting isn't very good indoors. But somehow this really does fix that. I don't know how they pulled that off. This is some really fancy tech. In situations like this, I definitely feel like it's an improvement. Sometimes when I'm looking at the park from a distance, it doesn't look much better and it just kind of looks like you got a couple filters over top which you can do in post-production or Photoshop um, but in certain situations where you're in here it does make a difference just pushing out those visuals a little bit more what's this clock what's happening in here this is what I like about this park is uh, everywhere we go is a bit of a mystery oh look at that we have a coaster I, I like un, un, kind of unveiling these rides when I, I was like, there's no rides in this park. We're just going to walk around and listen to me blabber for an hour. Um, <laughs> track view. Nice sign there. Thank you for that. Uh, here's a look at the ride results. There, 140 seconds in duration, 200 meters, bunch of airtime inversions and airtime seconds. There we go. It doesn't look like we have any guests in this lineup, so I'm just going to close it down. And we're going to do track view as requested by the creator. Come on, quick! Quickly! Got it.
How freaking we? That was sensational. What a what a pleasant surprise. This is probably the most what do you call it? Su unsuspecting surprising park of the year so far and the year's almost over. Uh, this threw me for a spin. Both the rides so far have thrown me for a spin. I, the car ride, I was trying to speed it up and slow it down. I thought that something wrong was happening, but in fact, that was intentional. We were off-roading, going through craziness, and this threw me for a surprise once again, too. We were going in an arena, a gigantic underground arena. I did not think that that would be packed into this park when I opened it up. Wow. It was like Tron, and then we moved over to this, like, Disney painter Toon Land. And I gotta tell you, with the reshade settings, it looked phenomenal. Wow. Look how flat these, like, boards are on the on the floor. Like that. I, it was, jeez. I, I could guarantee that coaster experience was definitely enhanced by these settings. So, uh, I'm just excited again. I feel like I'm playing Planet Coaster 1.5. And, um, I'm excited to see what kind of fun presets and things we can do. Like, this queue just feels so much more immersive to me. Now that we got these settings going. I'm super happy about it. Shout out to Batch once again. He got me... We, we figured out the magic touch. For some reason, my stuff was broken, and he gave me some missing files. And it fixed everything. It's good. So, as well as the ambient occlusion. That, that's, that's the hero here, in my opinion. All right, this is so cool looking. Yeah, I love um, just kind of the unexpectedness of this bottomless pit. Ski resort video. <laughs> I had a pink penguin. <laughs> Throw that ski resort video to the bottom. Oh, wow. No, that's part of the ride. I think. Part of one of the rides? Alright, we're leaving here. Okay. Where does this wonderful park take us to next? I kind of want to go explore this uh, city a little bit. The Gravity Falls town. Ooh. Nasty. Squirrel parking out back. Really? They lied to me. <laughs> Good ambience. The Royal Discount. Put hut. Is that the next project? Little sneak peek. Spoiler alert. Mushroom Town. Exit. He says, don't go up the... Oh. Whoa. That's not creepy at all. Into the forest. Why not? I said I wanted to go to the town, but we're we're trapped in this Alice in Wonderland forest of eternity with flying eyeballs. We might as well see what kind of wacky surprises the next ride has in store for us. Um, I gotta say, I didn't even really look at anything going into this park. I said. Okay, it's Gravity Falls, it's Trooper Matthew, he's a patron, he's a master, it's gonna be good, no need to look at it. Subscribe to everything, download everything, and open it up. And I'm like, hmm, it's a town. Okay. I guess I'm doing another ski resort walk around. Um, but this is quite pleasantly surprising. Quite pleasant indeed. Okay, I'll turn this reshade off so you can see the stats on this coaster here. Uh, or, I guess a track ride. We're gonna speed it up until one gets here, and, um... I'll cut to it when it's ready.
Wow! I have no idea what the heck was going on <laughs> with that. Oh, wow. Okay, this, this had some of the funnest basic shape characters I have ever seen. These gnomes are adorable. And your little barbarians or torrents like creatures, those have got to be the most characteristic cartoon figures I have ever seen in Planet Coaster. They were, I don't know, they, they, may, they had me wanting to play an RPG or something. Like, this was really fun. Uh, I liked everything about that. Really good job, Trooper Matthew. Wow, freaking we. Oh, holding back a sneeze, guys. Not good. <laughs> she got me. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, where are we going? Was I not following the path? Did I get lost? The sneeze threw me off, guys. Oh, boy. Ooh. And there it is. That's the falls. Gravity falls, after all. I do want to... You said 3.30 is best. I want to see this at 10 a.m. We will turn it back. But just curiosity gets the best of me. Ooh. I quite like this as well. Nice and vibrant. Look at that. Sun shining away. Feels extra warm, doesn't it? Let's turn reshade off. Extra flat. Extra warm. Ooh. Sensational. What a difference. Whew. No dive bombs. <laughs> okay, we'll turn it back to 3.30 a.m. Just for the creator's sakes. Beautiful. All right, we made it to the town. Oh, Hernandez Burroughs. <laughs> uh, I think it was Zell who won a contest for Bernando's Burritos. Bernardo's? Bernando's? Not exactly sure. What's on the menu? Brown gravy and cheese. Waffle fries. Woo, sounds good. Oh, I am so bewildered. Let's walk around. Betamax forever. Maddie P. Less is Morium. <laughs> yep, sometimes. <laughs> it's still cool. Interesting. Look at that, you guys. Reshade allows you to see through windows. What? I was wondering what the heck is going on there. Whoa, mind blown. What can you do with that? Let me see this one. Wow. Skull fracture. It's so cozy. Let's see. On, off. On, off. Yeah, I'm gonna be fascinated by this for a while. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's like I got a new toy. <laughs> Mansion mystery. I'll save that for a little. Li Ooh, never mind. There's a ride here. Ooh, a lumber. Lumber mill ride. Talakif. Hey, Omashu. What do we have here today? Where's the ride, dude? There he is. There she is. They. Did I get it? There we go. I got it. So, 
There's a look at the ride stats, everybody. 400 seconds in duration. Excuse me. This is going to be a doozy. It's a Huntsman. Very cool. I'll cut to it when it's here. Hundred and fifty years ago this day, the Northwests asked us lumberfolk to build them a mansion atop the hill. We were told it would be a service to the town, that once a year they would throw a grand party and all would share in the bounty. It took years of back-breaking labor and sacrifice, but when it was time for the grand party they promised the common folk of the town, they refused to let us in.
All right, that was quite cool indeed, making use of the pixelated spooky pack. Wow, that was quite an adventure indeed. I really quite enjoyed that. My goodness gracious. Trooper Matthew coming forward with some amazing work here in this park here today. I, uh, I'm really quite blown away. And it's a great, um, great opportunity to make use of the reshade. I, I really do feel like it enhances things a little bit. And I still, I would still love to mess around with the, um, the cartoon shader on this one. You know, it, it allows me to, um, increase the edging and stuff. I can go really crazy with it. Uh, as well as the, uh, the power of the painterly look, which is quite cool. I'm loving the control of this. I just want to, uh, wander around like this for a minute. Maybe, maybe a little bit too harsh on the edging here on some of the objects and stuff. And it's also putting it on the, the shadows. I would love to see a Toontown and Planet Coaster just, um, really pushing the the cartoony vibes and uh, the reshade settings. I'm sure there's more settings that will kind of uh, push all these cartoony vibes a little bit further. But it does look really neat. Alright. That was the Northwest Mansion Mystery. So it did take us all the way up to the mansion. I thought we were going to walk up there. But I much prefer going through that experience on a ride. There's a funeral home here. Lots of quaint, cozy buildings. There's a dinosaur exhibit in here? Well, people are walking to and from, so maybe we should. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we have an underground ride. What do we have here? Really good ambience as well, Trooper. Ooh, this is so cool. Gonna go to the depths of the planet here. Whoa! What's going on in here? What is this? Oh, do we have a swinging mine train coaster down here? Look at the uh, fossils. They're all captured in like some sort of wax. Whatever that is. Oh. There's the pterodactyl. I don't know what he's called it. Pterodactyl? Ooh. All right. Let's see the ride stats here. 180 seconds in duration, 2,000 meters in length, five airtime counts, five seconds of airtime. Max speeds of 80 miles per hour. Absolutely incredible. I'll cut to it when it's ready.
was extraordinary. Good googly moogly. Uh, one of my favorite mine train coasters that I've seen this year, if not ever. Uh, so much bedazzling scenes in there, going into these like underground jungles, dropping below the bridges, and all sorts of stuff like that. All right, lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Um, th that was just one un uh, incredible underground mine train coaster experience. Really loved everything about that. And you used the, you know, the sideways hangs, the upside down hang. Um, you had other ones synchronized coming towards us and away from us. And it was just really, really cool. Um, Trooper Matthew with all these hidden rides, unexpected hidden rides, showing off your uh, hidden talent. There we go. Um, yeah, it's like... Every single ride in this park, would you even call it a park, in this town, has been really unassuming. I did not expect this going into it. And, um, it's a pleasant surprise. What else will we find in this mystery town? Pottery, Eric's. And I'm loving these builds, too. Look at this. Yumberjacks. That is cozy as heck. I gotta do the reshade flip. Whoop. Whoop. Ooh, getting some ribs in here. Lovely. What is this guy? Oh, a little lumberjack. Yeah, you did a really good job. That's where you order your food. That's great. Your your characters are phenomenal. I love them. I love those uh, Viking guys that you had. Torrent Viking things. Shop thrifty. Aww. Ragtime theater. Pony heist. On. Off. On. Off. Love it. Really peaceful, calming music. Summer Ween. Mattress King. Oh. A little bowling alley. Bolarama. Hardware. Do we see the hardware store? This is, um... I, I don't know if the reshade is making this even cozier, but there's something really unique about this town. I love every single building that you did. They do have this very characteristic and a lot of personality. They, they got a lot going on. And I really appreciate that. <laughs> Barrels and Crates Incorporated. Oh, I like me an arcade. Let's go. Ah. No way. Oh, do we have... Oh, it's going to be a shooting ride. I'm calling it now. It's got to be a shooting ride. If it's not, I'm disappointed. Although, we're getting 13 FPS. Some of the rides have been a little hitchy. So, um, I'll try my best. But, yeah, no promises that this is going to go smoothly. Let's try to get on this thing. Okay, I think I got it. So uh, I'll cut to it when it's ready. Now, while I wait, I just want to show you guys this interior. This is with reshade, this is without. Oh, slow it down. Without reshade, with reshade. Look at the wires on the walls, the arcade machine. Just the little details on the floor. How much uh, depth it gives everything. Okay, we're going to start test. Wait, what? What did I do? I forgot how to do this. Do I go into camera ride? Okay, so I must be crazy, but there's usually like a, um, a test ride, and when I hit start, stop, it closes the ride. I know how to do this, I swear to God, but for some reason, it's not letting me. 
I do not know what's happening here. I've never seen this before. And if I, s normally if you hit start test, it takes you into the ride, but um, it's not doing that for me. Where's my three, two, one go? I must be crazy. I think it's just a ride. Somehow you've disabled it all. Oh, it is just a ride. I think. I'm so confused. Well, if I start seeing targets, then I know. What? Uh, I guess it's just a ride. An interesting one at that. I'm just gonna sit back and mute this thing. <laughs> Wait, what? Maybe not mute. Fight! Well, who are we fighting? What the heck is going on here? I'm so confused. So... Is there any advantage to making this a ride with a shooting ride? Rather than like a Huntsman or something? Because it only serves to confuse me. I mean, maybe that's the advantage. <laughs> I really have no idea. Um, yeah, I guess this is it. We're playing Pac-Man now. It's cool. Wowee! So, I learned something new. Apparently, you can use the shooting ride <clears throat> as just a ride, which did confuse the heck out of me. Uh, but with that aside, that was great. Like, we went underneath the arcade and we went through different video games. Uh, had a lot of personality, uh, as, as with every ride in this park so far. Look at this back area that we're going through. This is really neat, little junkyard. Wow, I am really blown away. This is this is one unique, <coughs> excuse me, one unique park. I've never seen anything like this. So much fun. Uh, we are back around to the beginning. I want to see Tiffany. I'm a school girl, my God. Wow, and I really, I'm digging the music. Hi, Tiffany. I'm almost sad to see that it's over. Do we go through the whole town? Let's do a little flyby. We go in here. Dust to dawn. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I thought reshade was making them extra transparent. Apparently not. I definitely like um, how the reshade makes these shops feel more cozy and a little bit more realistic as well. All right, I want to go take another view from this bridge here. This is so cool. Whoosh. There it is, Gravity Falls, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this.
I'm just going to check the ride list real quick before we give our little final thoughts here. All right, I found a ride that we did miss. Maybe, maybe even a couple. So stay tuned, guys. We might not be over yet. Legend of the Gobblewonker. The biggest beast to lurk the lake. Gobblewonker. Fishing season opening day. This is super cool. Got to turn shade back on. What was I thinking? Gobblewonker. All right. Stats. There it is. What do we have? A Cascade Water Coaster. Seems fitting. There's not a lot of people in queue, so we're going to just throw her back into test mode and get right on this. Um, maybe we do uh, a pop-up view for this. Yeah. <laughs> Gobble wonker. My goodness gracious. <laughs> All right, I gotta check the ride list and see if there's any more that we missed. I think I found another one. Crash Site Omega. A little bit hard to find off the beaten path here. Um, but it looks very interesting. A big... Ooh. Another shooting ride? Am I actually able to shoot this one? Ah, see? Test a shooting ride. Start shooting ride. Ah, there we go. We have an actual shooting ride. We'll speed it up here. Three, two, one. 
go. Alright. So, I wasn't crazy. <laughs> Put reshade on for this, because why not? Ooh. Fun little sequences. Again, I have 15 FPS down here, so I'll try my best to uh, get them all. What is this? Am I supposed to shoot these? Oh, I, I didn't think it was working. Oh, kind of amassed them a little bit. Shoot the Orby Orbs. Oh, these things too. No, it's too laggy. Yeah, I, I can't do it. Okay, can I shoot that one, this one, this one, this one, that one, this one? Good, googly. Oh my god. Oh, we're broken, I don't care. Yeah, turn the lasers off. Stop shooting me! Oh. Uh. Whoa! Get one last shot here. Shut the door! Shut the door! Run! Oh god, no, not the little ones. Ugh. Open the door, please! For the love of god! No! Oh. Oh. It's a boss fight. Cool. Ugh, I'm not gonna be able to hit it. Oh, look at that, turn the lights on. Whoa! Excuse me, Sneezy McGee! Got him. Broken. I shut the door. Oh, okay, good. Whoa. No, I locked myself in. Oh, I see. I'm locking them out. That's what's going on here. It's Gravity Falls. All right, go. <laughs> 1940, quit. All right, one last look at the ride list. Northwest Mansion Mystery, and that would be the last one. We did hit that. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Gravity Falls by Trooper Matthew. What a pleasant surprise. Uh, unsuspecting park, you open it up, you see a town, you don't see any coasters. Not a single coaster in sight, but full of rides that were absolutely breathtaking. Um, very unexpected. Favorite ride. Oh boy, what was my favorite ride and why? I do like the little uh, forest adventure with all the different characters. That was quite fun. I'm going to have to go with the swinging mine train coaster that went through these crazy underground mine experiences. One of my favorite mine experiences in a very long time. What was your favorite ride and why? Throw a comment down below, ladies and gentlemen. I want to give an extended shout out to Trooper Matthew once again for his gold patron support. Because of that, you get spotlight priority and uh, your stuff is seen first. If you guys want that same privilege, you can check out the Patreon program or just help support the show and uh, keep things going. Uh, with that, you'll also get your name in the, the, the credits of the beginning of the video and at the end of every video as an additional thank you to all of the supporters. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the Patreon credits list here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. 
and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye now.